he became sin. Um, I want to uh, just add one thing. We've, we've got a number of children in the congregation today. We've got a number of youth in the congregation. And uh, we have more youth and children than we have Sunday school teachers or youth leaders. So I'm going to ask the parents of kids, look around you. There's a bunch of godly people here, a bunch of really wonderful people with patience and love and grace and wisdom and heart. And I want you to take a look around and see if you can identify any people you would like to, to help you by, by volunteering in, in service of, ra of training children. Because I think if you guys shook the tree a little bit, we might be able to nudge those people that are right on the edge. You've been praying about it, right? I know you've been praying about it, for God to send workers into the harvest. If somebody comes up to you and says, have you been praying? Has God been touching you? That might be just one confirmation that God... You know, Sunday school used to be for the young. We'd get the parents to raise their own kids in Sunday school, but these days, parents need extra witnesses. Because they may be the only ones in this culture they're he that the kids are hearing these things from. But some of you, and I've I got to say, some of you great-grandmothers who have to suffer with just FaceTime with your little babies, if you could be great in the nursery, you know. And I know some of you say, I did my time and all that. Well, then you're experienced. Great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm beating the bushes here because we have such a great opportunity to show the love of Christ to the next generation. And I know you're up to the challenge. So parents, shake the tree. Talk to a few people. Say, have you thought about it? Let's give them some help. His body, the bread. His blood, the wine, broken and poured out all for love. The whole world trembled and the veil was torn. Love so amazing. Love so amazing. Jesus Messiah. Redeemer 
Messiah, the Lord.